Uterine fibroids are benign growths of the womb. They are a very common problem, and for many women, they are the reason why they need to go and seek help in gynaecological outpatients. About one in five of all referrals to outpatients are due to the symptoms of uterine fibroids. The symptoms can be many and varied, but it's important to emphasize that you may not have any at all. But if you do have symptoms, the most common are those of heavy or painful periods. Depending on the position of the fibroids, and they can vary in size and in location, will depend on what symptoms you are complaining of. Uterine fibroids are relatively easy to diagnose. It may be that they are evident when you have a vaginal or an abdominal examination when you first visit the doctor, or it may be necessary to perform an ultrasound scan or sometimes even an MRI scan to accurately identify the size and the exact location of the fibroids. There are many different treatments for uterine fibroids and the best one for you will probably depend on the type of symptoms that you're presenting with. The most common symptoms are painful heavy periods and the best option to try first will be a medical option, usually tablets to reduce the flow and the pain during period time or alternatively the insertion of an IUS, a device in the uterine cavity, a coil to help dampen down the flow and the pain. If medical options are unsuccessful in controlling your symptoms, you may then be advised to have some form of surgical procedure to remove the fibroids. The choice of surgery will probably depend on the size and the location of the fibroids. If they're small and easily accessible, a keyhole approach may be feasible. But if they're larger or more difficult to access, you may need to undergo an open operation and an incision in the womb to actually remove the fibroids, which is called a myomectomy. The worst case scenario, if all the other options fail, will be for you to undergo a hysterectomy or removal of the womb. Uterine fibroids are so common, so if you think that you have the symptoms of uterine fibroids, please don't suffer in silence. I think that you'll find the leaflets on patient.info really helpful.